Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Paul Fink, and this is the Mavericks Do It Different podcast. And today, I want to talk to you about about mindset. And we're going to talk about what the connection is between what's going on internal and what's going on external. But before I get into all that, welcome to Mavericks Do It Different podcast, where we think different, be different, do different, create different thoughts, different actions, different behaviors. We approach things differently to create a different result, to create a different world where everything's possible, where you can actually live the life of your dreams. So welcome aboard. Just settle back, relax, get your coffee, and let's get busy in getting clear with what it is that we are thinking. Gandhi said this, Gandhi said, your beliefs become your thoughts, your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your values, and your values become your destiny. Now, what was he talking about? What he was talking about was that everything that you think, everything that you believe, everything that is going on internally in your head affects everything on the external world, affects everything that you have in your life or what you don't have. You see, what Gandhi was saying when he started off, your beliefs become your thoughts, your thoughts become your words, and eventually your words and everything become your destiny. It becomes everything in your life. From the moment you were born till this very moment, you had all this information, all these thoughts, all these beliefs going on in your head, and they impacted everything that you had in your external world. For some of you, this is horrible, horrible news because there's no blame game anymore. If you look around your world, everything that you have, everything that you cherish, everything that you hate and despise, all of it, started off because of how you were thinking. You actually impacted the results that you had by the way you were thinking, what you were thinking about, and how you were approaching those ideas. Hmm. So now what? Now it's all my fault? Now what do I do? I haven't been living the life that I really would love And somehow now it's all come back to me. You mean it's not the economy? It's not the president? It's not world economics or world politics or the wars going on around the world? Everything that's happening in my world is because of me. That's what Gandhi's saying. And as we went through the the years and the millennium even, the old-time philosophers as well as the new, We go to Think and Grow Rich. I was just talking on the tour recently of the Think and Grow Rich tour by Napoleon Hill and talking about, you know, what it means to be thinking differently, to create a different result, to create a different life. I also was on the movie Beyond Limitations as one of the thought leaders talking about what it means to go beyond our our comfort zone, to stretch ourselves. And we stretch ourselves internally first. See, what you think, and all these philosophers now and all the success stories have actually proven it, that what you think is your life. What you think is your success. Now, for all of us, do do we take this seriously? I would say, and I would argue, most of the world does not. Although we've thought about it, we've talked about it, we've documented it, we've shown it to be true, and most successful people believe it. However, do most of society actually take it to heed? Meaning, do they act as if they believe it? Well, if they did, would they, would they do the things that they do? I would argue absolutely not if they truly believed. Would they go to horror movies? Would they watch slashers? Would they even watch the news and watch the horrors that are going on around the world if they truly believe that the information that they're bringing into their brain 
and the thoughts that they were having in conjunction with those ideas was absolutely affecting their world. And when you bring in negative thoughts, it affects your world negatively. When you bring in positive, it affects your world positively. And yet we consistently put ourselves in situation where we are, well, thinking negative thoughts. So what if, what if we truly believed? What if we truly believe that what we think actually affects the outcome, what we think actually affects our life? How would we be different? Here's the challenge for all of you. I contest this absolutely is true. The philosophers all agree. The highly successful all say the same thing. So, what you think is true, let's get clear with what you're thinking. What I'd like to lay out for you right now is just a quick methodology on how you can start be, be thinking, how you can be thinking clearer and do it today. I want to lay out for you the, the maverick mental moments, if you will. There are six mental moments I want you to experience every single day. Be deliberately thinking these thoughts. And when you do, watch what happens in the outside world. Your world will begin to shift and change in ways that you can't even imagine right now. So let's begin. First one of these mental moments, if you will, is I want you to be thinking big. That's right. Just think bigger than you ever thought before. Stretch yourself. Be thinking about what you could be doing, where you're going, how you're achieving, what you want to achieve. And go another layer, another level. Think bigger than you ever imagined. You start talking about your business. Talk about increasing those numbers, not by 5% or 10%, double, triple, or even 10x. Think bigger than you ever thought before. Number two is think, I am fearless. That's right. Think fearlessness. All too often, fear is what stops us. Fear of success, fear of failure. We've been talking about this. Only, what if you were fearless? How would that affect your outcome? What if you approached every day without fear, without hesitation? You took action immediately because there was nothing that could harm you. That fearlessness is a thought. Think, I am fearless. Repeat it to yourself every day. This is a critical maverick moment. Think, I will do whatever it takes. I will do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to achieve the goals, to create the dream life. I will do whatever it takes to, to build the life that I really want and build the life that I really deserve. Think, whatever it takes. How about this one? This is number four. I love change. Be thinking, I love change. I love when things change. I love when things move in a different way, create even something different in their, in their wake. I love change. You see, in life, change is inevitable. All too many people look to fight change. They don't like it. They resist it. And when you do, you're resisting the inevitable. Go with change. Be flexible in that way. So the thought, and it starts with a thought, I love change, so that when it shows up in your world, which it will all the time, you're ready for it. You're accepting it. You're embracing it in your world. And with that, you're able to do more in your life. Number five is I am unstoppable. Kind of goes along with I'll do whatever it takes. Uh, goes along with fearlessness, only there's a certain amount of not just resiliency, but empowerment with that statement and with that thought. 
I am unstoppable. Whatever you want to throw at me, world, whatever you want to put in my way, whatever resistance you want to give me, I'm going to overtake it with glee. I am going to make it more than ever before my own. I'm unstoppable. There's nothing that's going to keep me from creating my dreams, from creating my future, from creating all that I want. I am unstoppable. How about this one? I am moldable. I am moldable. I believe that I can become anybody or anything, that I can learn new skill sets. I am moldable. All these things, all these components of how we're thinking will create a different result. We are able to create more in our life by thinking differently, by being different. We can create all of this and more in our world by getting clear with what's going on internal. So do you believe that? I want you to comment below and let me know what it is that you're thinking that you know may be hurting you. Or what you're thinking that, well, maybe helping you. Maybe adding to our maverick mental moments here and add to them so that we can empower all of us to be thinking clearer, more positively, more effectively to create our outcome. Go ahead and comment about all that you're thinking about what it is that you think about what you're thinking. And then I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to do one step further, just to go one additional step, because by thinking clearly, you can change your world. By thinking clearly, you can change everything that's going to happen in your future. We've talked about this, thinking grow rich and, and beyond limitations and going all the way back to Gandhi and some of the other philosophers in our history. They've all said the same thing. Think it and it will be so. Think differently and you're going to get different results. So here's the challenge for you. Considering that you believe this, considering that this is absolute, here's what I want you to do next. I want, to add, want you to, to ask yourself every single day, not only going through all these as affirmations, as positive intents for your life, I am, I am thinking in this way. I want you to ask yourself, how am I demonstrating that I'm thinking in this way? How am I demonstrating that I'm thinking bigger? How am I demonstrating that I'm thinking I am fearless? How am I demonstrating that I'm thinking I am doing whatever it takes today? How am I demonstrating that I'm thinking that I love change, that I'm unstoppable, that I am moldable? How am I demonstrating this? And I want you to document, I want you to write down and possibly even share it right here, how it is that you're demonstrating these thoughts in the external world, how your behavior is showing up differently based on these thoughts in your mind. See, that's what it's all about. That's the cornerstone of what this is, what's happening internally shows up externally. That's the key. Your life can be different. Your life can change today. Decide it. Decide to be thinking something different. Decide that you can be different by changing your thoughts. One of the greatest things is this is all in your control. This is all possible today, instantaneous. So go ahead and do it. Go ahead and take action. Go ahead and create this in your life. It is your chance. It's your chance to grab it all. Your chance to live the life of your dreams. Be thinking differently, doing differently, creating different in your life. This is Paul Fink. This is the Maverick Millionaire, and this is Mavericks Do a Different Podcast. Continue to share the message. Continue to share the links. Like, follow, click the little buttons, and let's change the world one click at a time. 
I encourage you to come join us, come hang out, come spend some time, and definitely comment on all that we're doing so that we can get the message out and change the world. Till next time, everyone. Talk to you real soon. Thanks for being here today. As our gift to you, be sure to go to themaverickuniverse.com where you can download your free copy of the Maverick Manifesto. Until next time, dare to be different. Dare to be a maverick.